Oh man, good morning from Bucky's. If you don't know what Bucky's is, you gotta come here. I got one of the stickers for my boss. Um, over there in front of me, it says pump number 209, 210, that one is 231. I mean, this place is insane. I mean, it goes on for days and days and days in here. It's seriously like my favorite gas station ever. And because they, you know, sell so much uh, gas at quantity, uh, they have some pretty good prices out here. I would say 19 cents. 15 to 19, 10, 19 cents cheaper than anywhere else. Um, so yeah, and actually I just got off the phone with Badge. He's still out there helping people out. Um, just blows my mind what a, what a kind person he is. So he said if anybody else comes out there, ask for the Jack's special and uh, you know help you, help you out. So he, he's in the comments. It's my UMB is his, uh, his uh, handle, so. Hello from Texas. And boy, oh boy, do I have a lot of thank yous coming. I took uh, two last two days off. Uh, one day uh, was an errand day. Um, I got myself, uh, took back my boots that broke, and some other ones arrived in the mail and some other kind of things. I got a uh, camera cleaner with a little, with the <laughs> to make sure the lens is clean. Um, and then I saw, like I said, by a friend of mine, um, who's, uh, is going to remain anonymous, but he's, uh, in the entertainment industry and just a phenomenal, phenomenal person. So I got some great one-on-one -on -one time with him and, uh, was able to share 100% of my personal story, which I, I don't do with everyone. There's a lot of skeletons in the closet, you could say. But I think one day it would be nice to share in some kind of book or, you know, screenplay or, I don't know, something. Because it's, uh, you know, it's a, it's, this is a very interesting story. And the story is just, conti is, it's still continuing. So that's, that was a lot of fun to, to see them and all that stuff. So let's uh, jump into some thank yous because I have a huge long list. And by the way, we've already surpassed uh, what I make on YouTube. Um, so thank you guys. It's just so nuts that people, um, are just showing so much love and I, I'm just so touched and I just, uh, I, I'm not at a loss of words. It means so much to me and, um, it just blows me away at what technology can do these days and connecting people and yeah, just amazing. All right. Like I said, this is, <laughs> this is a long list. It, it's blown my mind beyond my wildest expectations in just a, a couple days it, so many people have have joined in so uh i guess we can even start from the very uh beginning um uh, with uh corona rich i already thanked him uh, thanks again you were the number one uh, the first person on here and then brent i think i i mentioned before um matt jackson uh actually met him in person a while ago and um He's got this really cool vintage um, uh, Volkswagen uh, bus kind of thing. Um, if you're curious, look for him in the comments. Um, or Matt, just write a comment and say, hey, it's me. Uh, there is also Georgina Hale. Thank you very much. Um, Tony K. Fletcher. Thank you for the, don the donation. Um, we have a Martin Krebs. And a, uh, also, Mama Bill. William Bill Morris. Uh, so thank you guys as well. Um, so it, it's great. Even some of my family and friends are just joining in and people I haven't met yet and people I have met at uh, RTR and some other places. Jules, thank you so much for your don donation. Rosie Higgins, thank you very much. Um, and then we have a Mark Kruger. Thank you for the uh, Patreon pledge. Uh, Melanie May, thank you as well. And Del Tanner unlocked the executive producer, so you will be seeing Mom and Bill, and then you'll see Del Tanner at the end of them. So uh, everyone is equal in my eyes. That's why everybody gets a thank you in the video. So thank you so much. Um, also, did sign up for insurance. So <laughs> just going through all the emails. Scott Bloomfield, thank you. Uh, Nick Leeser, I think I pronounced that correctly. Thank you. Uh, Tim Norman, thank you. Philip Hallenberg, 
Thank you. Uh, and then it looks like Nomad Nurse, uh, the one who gave us some excellent um, advice, uh, kidney advice, hydration advice, uh, he jumped in as well. Thank you very much. Uh, also, fantastic video. People really love the tips. Um, John Davidson, thank you. Rory K. Tippett, thank you. Uh, I think uh, Rafi Langston, I think I pronounced that correctly. Thank you. Uh, John Hansen, thank you. And we have a Andy Whitaker, thank you as well. Uh, Bonnie Lee Tyler, thank you. Philip Hallenberg, thank you. Um, and then we got some more last night, in the middle of the night. Uh, Justin Shillington, thank you. And last but not least, oh, I think that was it, because that was just a post by Justin as well. Um, thank all of you so much, and for everybody who just watched the past two minutes of me thanking people, Thank you for watching. <laughs> um, but yeah, just, uh, you know, spreading good vibes out here, traveling, um, you know, just showing you guys what the life is like. And uh, I'll be blasting through, I'm going over to Florida, see the aunt and uncle. And uh, then we'll be heading north quickly after that because it is warm. So let's hit the road. Sorry for the long rant, but that's part of joining the bus life here, you know? So, let's hit the road. Alright, let's have a brief discussion about free camping. Um, there is a site called freecampsites.net and this is what it looks like. And so basically, you just go on the site and then um, you type in a location or it will uh, find where you are. And it, you can zoom out using a two finger scroll on the, uh, on the Mac. And I actually I found some place right down here that looks um, interesting. Oyster Lake Park, so you click on that. Um, and it's a good, it'll give you the name, but it looks like it won't give you the GPS location. So let's see if we can zoom in right in there. All right, let's cross reference on uh, Google real quick and see what we can find. So this is how it comes up on uh, Google Earth. And then if you kind of zoom in right there, it looks like there's a little turnaround. Hopefully it's not too sandy because I'll get stuck. Um, otherwise, yeah, that could be a possible place. All right, another app is uh, iOverlander. Um, this one is user submitted, so it just depends on how many people are using it, uh, and then people submit places. Um, see, there's something right there. I'm gonna guess that's a rest stop. Yep, Colorado Country Rest Stop, County Rest Stop. And then there's some information, and I believe this is 100% user submitted. All right, another app is Campinium. I gotta say, it is not my favorite for only for the fact that once you find uh, some options around you, it makes you it wants you to like log in. And I haven't made an account yet, so it's kind of like annoying a little bit. Uh, and I guess that's my fault because again, I haven't signed up. So you click on something and it just goes to this. Um, I'm not really sure why they want you to log in, um, but this is what you can find and I think it goes away once once you actually sign up for their for their app but this is the only app that that does that another app is is boondocking and again these are separate apps user submitted looks like there's a RV park truck stop clearly a lot less options than like trucker path and some of the other ones but if you use all of them you can find um, you know, you, you, you can find different uh, different places with different information and just cross-reference. And between all these references, you should be able to park for free someplace. But a lot of boondockers, it's not our favorite place, but it is definitely a place that you do end up at. Right now, I, I am at a Walmart. I'm going to get some food and things like that. So this is uh, called ONP Walmart, which is Overnight Parking Walmart. Some of them, you have to read the reviews in here. Some of them say it's okay. Some of them say it's not okay. Um, rule of thumb, you could always ask for permission. Walmarts are pretty 
known to be friendly to RVs because people come in and spend so much money and they want their business. All right, this one here is my favorite. However, I'm not on the West Coast, so I highly doubt I'm going to find anything around here. But this is a U.S. Public Lands app on uh, Apple, and it tells you where all the public lands are. A lot of the uh, yellowish orange is is BLM uh, land. Uh, dark green, I think, is uh, national forest. So these are you own this land. I own this land. It is public land, and so you can stay someplace up to 14 days, with the exception of national parks. You have to stay in a designated parking area and pay a fee. So, anyways, those are the apps that I'm currently using. Hopefully, those are. Uh, that's a good resource for you. Um, at some point, every single person watching this video will either go on a road trip or has a friend or family member which will go on a road trip. And all these apps are highly, highly uh, uh, valuable for free parking and camping and just being out in nature. So please enjoy. By the way, I just renewed my good Sam. Uh, it's best to call them and, and uh, re uh, renew it because uh, you have to tell them you have a school bus and stuff. But yo, I just met uh, Angel here at the Walmart awesome. parking lot. <laughs> and uh, he's like, yo, can I ride your car for it? I'm like, hell yeah, man. So show, show us how it's done. Actually, it's about practicing to go to the store. Uh, That's, there you go. It's all in the hips, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Angel. Yeah, nice man. Angel, uh, Angel wants to get a school bus. Is that right? Yes, actually, I'm planning to get a school bus at some point. Yeah, a short one, a big one. Uh, mid size, a little bit bigger than this, cause I'm gonna have a good crowd, a lot of women around. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, just had like a half an hour conversation with the dude, Angel. <laughs> Such a nice dude right there. <laughs> Yo, man, good to meet you. Nice to meet you <laughs> oh, it's so rad. He's like, yeah, it was. Saw your bus, and then I went to fill up the tank, and you know, I figured if he was there, and, and I was still there, it was meant to be, and I said, bro, it's always meant to be if you see me, so if anybody sees me, just come up, say hi, super friendly, probably talk your off for a bit, um, and yeah, so, just having a great day out here in uh, somewhere in te Texas. Oh, also, I figured out where I was going to go, if I didn't already mention, I'm going to head towards the, uh, the Gulf see the Gulf of Mexico for the first time in my life, actually. First time in my life. Yes. I had to make a U-turn uh, and pull into Timeless Texas Classics. Classic vehicles, sales parts, consignment. They also have some uh, school buses in the back, or at least one of them for sure. Uh, and it looks like I found my parking spot. It says tire kicker. That's for sure what I'm going to do. Let's kick some tires around here. I had to make a U-turn uh, and pull into Timeless Texas Classics. Classic vehicles, sales parts, consignment. They also have some uh, school buses in the back, or at least one of them for sure. Uh, and it looks like I found my parking spot. It says tire kicker. That's for sure what I'm going to do. Let's kick some tires around here. Well, that's a pretty good uh, sign next to the road. And it looks like this here is an old John Deere tractor for sale. That's pretty awesome. 2400 bucks for a seemingly vintage tractor. I know absolutely nothing about tractors other than the fact that you ride them. <laughs> for all I know, it actually could be a, a working tractor. And uh, this is a nice, I don't know, Mitsubishi, the tracker kind of thing. Um, another tractor for sale. Nice old pickup truck. Look at this. This one's about 10 grand. This one's registered as a farm truck. Wow. It is missing a little headlight, but for something this old, I think that's, I think that's about normal. Inside doesn't look too bad. A little on the dusty side. Comes with a tire and, I don't know, Badge probably knows what that is. Check out this sweet ride. You're only missing a uh, Longhorns on the front and Boss Hog behind the wheel. Whoa, check out this old cop car. That is pretty freaking awesome. Whoa, 
and that's the old Ford logo. Can't tell you that I knew that. I'm not very good with uh, old vintage cars or anything. But golly, look at how cool that is. Great condition in these old, oh my god. Look at how perfect this one is. Wait, I'm gonna guess the price on this one and say $40,000. Oh, not too bad. 26, midlife crisis. But look at how nice this thing is. Wow, somebody did a fantastic job restoring this. I have no idea what year it is, but whoa, look at the dash. Let me try and block some of the, wow. Oh my gosh, it's so nice. This one says Ford Fairlane. I'm sure there's gonna be people that know what kind of car this is in the comments, so feel free to uh, you know, tell us about it because um, I left my phone and I'm not going to Google every single one of these cars, but um, like I said, it's right off of the highway here. I met Roger out here uh, oh. behind the uh, the whole thing, and uh, he's going to give me a, a tour of the bus that I spotted from the uh, from the highway. So what what's going on, first of all, with the smokestacks there? Well, it's hooked up to a propane bottle, <laughs> and you can hit, oh, the, I... hit the switch and it, it blows out. Flames. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I see the, the wires coming in, so that's to yeah. ignite it yep. right here. And, uh, and then up top, it uh, looks like there's the, uh, the, the igniter, the, the spark. Yep. And uh, goodness gracious. All right, well, after you. Uh, so the electrical stuff is sort of my end of the business. So mm. Then the, the chair. That's, that's a nice that's chair. Me, but it, but it, and it rotates around. So this Look at the flex steel. These are like the, the fancy RV uh, yeah, chairs. Right. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, you so, guys, you did, okay. So this is more of a... This is a social area right in here. <laughs> that's nice. And uh, uh, then what we, and there's a table that fits here mm -hmm. for... Yeah, okay. I see that. And, and uh, then we decided on, because there are four of us, another guy comes from uh, Nashville. He used to live in Houston. And, and this bus is the, the swap meet bus. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. So then this is our traveling configuration where the various things get put up. And then we, underneath, we have a variety of these kinds of boxes with yep. the things in it. Here is inside the restoration part. Um, some diagnostics going on and also some uh, restorations. And uh, I guess I get them ready to, uh, to be on consignment on the inside. The one yesterday is going to Sweden. A really? Lot of, what lot is of Europeans come in here. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. And I heard there's a couple of famous people who come in from time to time and buy things as well. Yeah. Interesting. So here is uh, the inside of the showroom. There is all kinds of interesting things. Uh, it sounds like lots of turnover, so you never know what you're going to find in here. And I would say it's part museum, part car dealership. So come on by and check it out. someone who commented on the last fish fry that it is um, like a religious thing I guess because um, I guess some people don't eat meat on Fridays Good Friday I think and so they do fish which I, I didn't know so that's that's very cool and yeah I want to find this fish fry and I hope it's like a local thing and that would be super spontaneous and super fun so I think it's coming up here in a quarter mile turn right all right, here we go. Uh, I'm gonna get a plate to go. This is at the Nada Community Center, St. Mary's Nada. 
Uh, I don't know where to go for this, but this is super awesome and I feel a little out of place out here. I'm not gonna lie, although I'm sure the people out here are super friendly. Um, yeah, plates to go, drive-through. I'm going to the drive-through. <laughs> this is so rad. And also, P.S., look at how beautiful that building is. And uh, here we go, $10 a plate for a fish fry. Plates to go, enter here. Hey, what's up everybody? <laughs> Yeah, we got the, the guys cooking the fish over here on the Fish Friday, Catfish Fridays. Just the fish fry, give a hand All right, so we're in Nada, Texas right now. Nada, yeah. Nada, sorry, okay. Best fish fry in Texas. Is it? Yes. All right, so we're at the community center down here. Do you guys right. do this every Friday? Yes. Right, very nice. Okay, very everybody's welcome, huh? Everybody's welcome. All right, well, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Wow. Talk about feeling like a fish out of water, but you know what? Everybody was so kind. It was just me that felt a little out of place that never, I don't know, never been to such a small town kind of thing where everybody probably knows each other. And I'm, you know, here I am all by myself, but um, yeah, swing by Nada, Texas. Let's take a peek at this here uh, fish fry. This is what you get for 10 bucks. Holy mackerel. Well, I should say catfish. It's really good. Which is definitely not on my diet. <laughs> I should say the Gulf, which is connected to the ocean. And I'm very, very excited about that because I love water. And I have not seen the ocean in way too long. Oh, by the way, we should definitely try this fishing. Oh, I'm so hungry. Now, for some strange reason, I wanted to eat this down at the water. Well, the beach. And also, for some strange reason, I felt like a fish out of water over there for some reason. It doesn't normally happen to me. Not that anybody made me feel uncomfortable, but I just thought to myself, boy. You're in a whole different place. Um, very nice people. And very, very good catfish. And I had a feeling I would regret not going inside and checking it out. And of course, I kind of regretted not going inside and checking it out. So, I will have to fight the feeling next time. And, you know, go and check it out. So, mm, good stuff, even if it's cold an hour and a half later. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys on the road tomorrow.